Hey, this is Dan Seifert from The Verge. We're here at Google I.O. and we are checking out Google Wear 2.0. This was just announced on stage. It is uh, the next generation of Google's wearables platform and the company says it's the biggest update to the platform in uh, since it's launched. It has a bunch of new UI features. Uh, so you can uh, see there's a uh, new controls using physical buttons. This particular watch has a button on the side that launches the new app launcher, which you can see has kind of this uh, new carousel feature, which is very cool, very slick. Push that back and go back to your watch face. But what's really neat here are these complications that let you uh, tap into apps directly from any watch face. So this is a to-do list uh, from Todoist that's been uh, set up on this particular one. You can add tasks, you can add your uh, water intake for other apps as well, um, and a bunch of different things that developers will be able to plug into and add more complications. It's pretty similar to what Apple is doing in the Apple Watch, but it's cool to see this uh, in both third-party watch faces and with third-party apps. Uh, another thing that is new is the way you can reply to messages. So if we go to Hangouts here, um, you can reply to messages using a new uh, tracing keyboard, which is a little wild. There's a, a full keyboard on the there, uh, as well as a new handwriting uh, recognition thing, so you can write words on your uh, on the screen there with your finger and send it away. Uh, that's different from the uh, emoji recognition system that's been there before. So those are both new. And you can have a back button to go back as well. Overall, on this particular watch, this is the uh, LG Watcher Bane LTE, which means that it has a bunch of settings that you might not find on a Wi-Fi only watch. You can uh, use this watch without your phone connected, and there's a bunch of new things for that. But the UI is actually pretty slick and pretty quick. It's much more responsive than I'm used to on the Android Wear watch that I wear every day. Uh, the other thing that's new here is there's some new uh, fitness features uh, where it will automatically detect new things like um, uh, strength training exercise, so if you're doing pull-ups or uh, um, uh, bicep curls or deadlifts or something like that, the watch can now automatically identify that in addition to the other activities that it's already there. Uh, Google says that Android Wear 2.0 will be available later this year, but if you're a developer, you should be able to start downloading it today and get it running on your watches already. Uh, so there you go, that's a quick look at Android Wear 2.0 from Google I.O. I'm Dan Seifert, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.